it's that time of week where here at TCG Funhouse, we help you guys build an amazing Pokemon TCG portfolio or just a straight collection. Here are five more undervalued Pokemon cards that you can pick up right now at a steal of a price. What's going on Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel TCG Funhouse where we open up Pokemon cards, we talk about Pokemon cards, and lately we've been building an amazing Pokemon TCG collection slash investment portfolio on a budget here at TCG Funhouse. And we are bringing you another episode of that exact series today where I give you five more undervalued Pokemon cards that I think you can buy right now to improve your collection and build your investing portfolio of the Pokemon TCG on a good budget steals of a price. But right before we get into that, just a reminder, we have a giveaway going on for the entire month of October, and there's actually two winners this month, guys. Bam! We're giving away one of each of these two Calyrex boxes. That's right, you have double the chance to win Pokemon cards here on TCG Funhouse this month and if you want your entry details make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you can learn how to get your entries for every single video that we post in the month of October and we're gonna start getting into that list guys I promise but I need to tell you all about the key ingredients and the key points to when you're building the Pokemon collection on a budget and those are called facts I create an acronym Facts, guys. F stands for fan favorites. You want to look for fan favorite Pokemon because it's easier to unload your collection if you have to in emergency purposes. A is affordability. I'm like you guys. I'm not swimming in dough. I'm not a super rich guy. And if you are, hit me up. I need some investing for my Pokemon business. Anyway, I'm on a budget, guys. So my personal collection is completely built on my extra disposable income, which, to be honest with you, really ain't that much um c stands for a condition it's very important to pick up cards that look nice buying a bunch of damaged cards especially vintage right now is just not worth it in the long term they don't grow in price t stands for trends there are times when you should be buying a certain card and there are times when you should be selling a certain card Perfect example, I sold all of my Evolutions Charizard Holographic Reprint Base Set cards for about $160 to $150 back when the uh, the trend for that card was hot. And you know what I did? Right now, if you go back and buy them, they're about $45 over on TCG Player. So when you follow the trends, you can actually maintain your collection while still profiting and not losing cards in the long run. S stands for supply. Rarity matters. You don't want to keep filling up your collection with a bunch of common Hippolabodopodus cards, guys. It just doesn't matter. This isn't going to grow you anything. That being said, if you love Hippolabodopodus, I, I, I can put this up on TCG Player for three cents. And you can have as many as you want. But let's go ahead and dive right into the list here, guys. We have an awesome list today. I'm really excited to go over it. Coming up first on the list here, we're going with the fan favorite legendary Pokemon, Rayquaza. If you guys have watched some of my previous sets, you know I'm very high on Rayquaza. In my opinion, he's one of the top five Pokemon in terms of their cards carrying value over time and just never really diminishing in price. And in particular for this list, I'm going with the Sword and Shield promo card. That's right, a modern Rayquaza card because it's very affordable right now. It hits that A in facts on affordability. This card is about $3, $3.50 over on TCG Player right now, and you can really use it to boost your collection. I really don't see this card ever coming down in price. It's Rayquaza, it's holographic, the longer it goes, and these three-pack blisters that it was a part of are not going to be found on the shelves anymore. This card, I don't want to say is going to be forgotten about, but people are going to forget that you can get this card um, in a pretty easy-to-obtain product. When we're talking 10, 15 years down the road, they're just going to see holographic Rayquaza. Oh, man, then the three-pack blister is going to be extraordinarily expensive because this card's inside. So not only is picking up this card worth it, but I think collecting some of those Rayquaza three-pack blisters is also going to be worth it in the long haul. So if you can get your hands on those, considering it came in the Rebel Clash blisters, I really think you can get this at a pretty good price 
because people don't really want Rebel Clash right now still. So that's actually a good buy as well. The three-pack blisters for a sealed collection and then also picking up this Rayquaza on its own for about 3 to $3.50 is a good buy right now. So we start with the modern card and then we're moving way on down the list down to Wizards of the Coast with one of the first cards printed. This was printed way back during like base set and fossil times for Wizards of the Coast. I'm going with the Wizards of the Coast Mew Black Star promo non-holographic version. And again, this one really, really slaps that A in affordability because it still goes for about $2 right now over on TCG Player. How in the world that there's a 20-year-old card featuring Mew. This could even be like the first print run of Mew because this card printed first in Japan, part of the Fossil set, and it was holographic. It did not come into the Fossil set in English because this is back during the times of, is Mew under the truck? Is Mew under the truck? Who's Mew? I don't even know what Mew is, right? So we didn't even get him in Fossil. They actually gave him to us as a Black Star promo and a non-holographic version. There's a hollow version as well, but that is very, very expensive. So that's out of my A affordability. Um, now, I understand that this card was printed to the floor. There is tons and tons and tons and tons of this card out on the market, which is why 20 years later, it still is only worth about $2. But this is a long-term play. You're telling me that picking up 10 to 12 to 15 of these cards at that price point in near mint condition 20 years from now is not going to be a good buy because the longer, the longer, the longer time goes by, this card is going to become less and less and less, especially with the new printing that is happening right now. They're doubling and tripling printing. So as many Mews as there are, there's going to be that many of a lot of cards, man. So... My opinion, pick up this Mew card. It's phenomenal. Fan favorite. Mythical Uno, Uno nu, number one, right? Numero Uno. I was going to say Uno Numero. Numero Uno, right? It's a lot of people's favorite mythical. Fan favorite. Huge buy right now. Two bucks. Why not? It's two freaking dollars. You can't miss. It's two bucks. All right, we had some fun hanging out in the past 20 years ago, but now we're back a little bit closer to modern times. I'm going with Dragonite EX from Furious Fists. This card right now is at a very low price of about $2.60. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is a Dragonite Ultra Rare card so low? And that's because it was actually part of the Evolutions Dragonite EX box um, back when Evolutions released. Now, they have printed more Evolutions boxes featuring Dragonite, but those actually include the Evolutions Dragonite. So the Dragonite EX from Furious Fists is in the Dragonite box that was not printed nearly as much as these Kanto Power Boxes that are out right now, which has caused the Evolutions Dragonite to plummet in price even below this one now. Um, but that's why this card was a readily more available. But again, we're looking at a pseudo-legendary. People love Dragonite. Again, fan favorite, affordability, $2.60 market price right now. There's over 100. Supply is still high right now as well. So when you're tick marking these boxes for low demand, high supply, um, low affordability, fan favorite, you're really getting into it, right? So as this card continues to go, that Dragonite box no longer exists. Furious Fist Pack, already are crazy expensive. So pulling these inside the Furious Fists, that's already significantly more rare than getting it in that promo box. But 20 years from now, that promo box is going to be almost completely eliminated, and the Furious Fist Packs are going to be the main source of getting this Dragonite card once again. So I think it's a steal. It's a good buy. It's a little bit more of a riskier purchase than some of my other choices. But when you come down to that affordability of $2.60 for this Dragonite EX, that's why it's worth the risk. If this card was 5 or $6 right now, I wouldn't say it's worth the risk. But at $2.60, I will buy these all day. We're sticking with modern times as we move down the list here for card number four here on the list. Uh, these are in no order, guys. I'm just giving you guys cards that I think are going to be worth buying in the long run. And I'm going with Gyarados EX Secret Rare from XY Breakpoint. I think this is a huge, huge card. We're talking about the gold bordered card of shiny Gyarados that is also featuring Greninja and Mythical Manaphy. So you got these cards that have multiple Pokemon inside. I always think those are awesome artworks that are worth picking up. And in this case, we're looking at a secret rare. So the S for supply really comes in here because it's a very, very rare card. And it has the beautiful majestic gold border. And not only is it Gyarados, who's a fan favorite, but it's shiny Gyarados, who everybody knows and is a lot of people's favorite shiny because it was the very first shiny they ever encountered and experienced inside of the Pokemon games. So 
This card is still under that $25 marker in near mint condition. Uh, you can consistently get these for $20, $21, $22 $20 right now for a secret rare gold border shiny Gyarados card. Absolutely phenomenal. And again, this card's already getting up there in age. This is during the XY era. So you're already looking at five or six years old on this card. And it's going to just get older and older and older and more rare and more rare. Just a couple of months ago, like six or seven months ago, you were able to grab this card for about $17, $18. So it's already gone up two or three bucks just in the past six months. Now multiply that on down the road, three, four, five, even 15 years from now, you're looking at a card that's going to be just continuing to go up in price because it is such a beautiful artwork. And it was not printed during the era of massive printing. So this card is actually pretty high supply right now. But down the road, when you're looking at hundreds of cards being on the market, and this one still is looking at, you know, maybe in the dozens on, on availability, it's going to go up in price significantly. So it's worth looking at. I love this card so much. Plus, who doesn't want a bunch of these? They're just, they just look so nice. Finally, we are reaching back into our vintage pocket. We're going back 20 years again to Wizards of the Coast era for Jungle. That's right, the second uh, set ever printed by the Pokemon Company. And of course, we're going with the mascot Pikachu. Now you're like, wait a minute, you want me to invest in just common Pikachu cards? I do, but I want you to pick up the first editions as well. Again, because the S in supply slash rarity really, really matters and comes into play here when it is first edition. Getting a first edition common is really more like getting a rare unlimited. So it's much harder to find than the common cards. And getting this in near near mint price right now, the price range is about 6 to $8 for near mint condition on this Pikachu. And again, it's another one of those cards that has really, really gone up in price just in the last six to eight months. It's gone up from about $4 to 6 to $8 right now in near mint condition. I'm okay going back and picking up Lightly Played for this card if it's going to save you about half the price, right? So let's take a look at Lightly Played here real fast. $4, $4.50 consistently for this card across the board at Lightly Played. And if you watch my last video, you know I do not mind going down to Lightly Played for vintage non-holographic cards because you don't have to deal with the scuffing that happens on the holographic foil going in and out of sleeves and things like that. Um, and you don't have to worry about print lines. So a lot of condition situations are neglected and they're just gotten rid of when you're getting non-holographic cards. So picking up lightly played, I think is still a good play because it's half the price. I still recommend going near mint because it's Pikachu. It's a fan favorite. It's a mascot. It's going to be keep getting shoved in our faces over and over and over again as the years go on. But first edition really makes this card worth it overall. So make sure you guys check it out over on TCG Player. I think it could really help build you an awesome collection. Plus, this one has tons of nostalgia. All right, guys, those are five cards that I think are extraordinarily undervalued in the Pokemon TCG right now. And I think you can pick them up at steals. Absolute steals of prices to help build yourself a nice collection slash Pokemon portfolio on a budget. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, guys. Someone left a comment about that Rayquaza that I had on this list, and I went ahead and did some more research on it, and I completely agree with that person. I knew about the card, but I didn't know that it was so affordable at the time. So leave a comment below. Help inspire me to put some cards on this list. I love knowing your guys' thoughts and your guys' opinions on this matter. What cards are you buying for your Pokemon collection, for your Pokemon portfolio, so we can help others do it as well? Don't be greedy. Don't be selfish. This is about sharing the wealth of information that we have at our fingertips here at TCG Funhouse and whoever you are and whatever you like to do in the Pokemon game as well. But while you guys are here, if you're new, slap a subscribe. We're going to be posting two types of these videos every single week here on the channel. Every Monday and Friday at 2 p.m., we're going to be talking about building Pokemon collections on a budget, whether it's singles or sealed product or whatever we have going on. That's what we're going to be doing. It is absolutely fun. I love doing the research for these sort of things, guys. And when you do that, when you hit that like button and hit that sub, I just feel so dang good inside, you know? And it makes me want to give away more stuff like these Cali Rex V boxes, which is the reason why I know you're still here towards the end of the video. But here are your giveaway entry details, which you can get an entry every single video this month right now. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned to the very end of the video so you can get your entry details for our giveaway for the month of October. And the really cool thing about this month is we're having a double giveaway. That's right. 
There's going to be two winners for the month of October. The first time that we've had two winners for giveaways, gosh, for probably about a year now. It's not the first time we've done it, um, but it's been a while. So that's right. Our awesome new giveaway is going to be two Cali Rex V boxes, guys. We're giving away one Ice Rider and one Shadow Rider V collection box, one of each. That means there's going to be two wonderful subscribers taking home these awesome awesome boxes so they can rip them themselves or keep them for their sealed collection now it's very very easy to get your entry all you have to do guys is be a subscriber here on tcg funhouse you have to hit the like button on this particular video and you have to leave a comment below on this particular video you can leave any comment that you want down there Usually throughout the video, I do ask a question or ask for an opinion. So go ahead and fill that out because I love talking to you guys down there as well. I comment back to every single person that takes time out of their day to leave a comment for me because it's just, it's so much fun. I love being a part of the Pokemon community and you guys supporting the channel is more than I could ever, ever ask for. And this is just one of the ways that I can try to give back to you guys as well. Now you can get an entry for every single video in the month of October. Now, that's what, three videos per week at minimum for the full length videos, but we post shorts every single day, guys. So the more comments you leave, the more videos that you like, the more videos that you share on your social medias with your friends and family, the more entries you get for this giveaway. And remember, you have twice the chance of winning this month. Congratulations to last month's winner. Let me know what kind of pulls you got, and I'm really excited to find out who the winner is going to be this month. Thank you so much, guys. That is how you get your entry for the two Cali Rex V boxes that will be given away for the month of October.